primed and ready for action. That's the former national sprint cycling team that is heading off to Belarus on Friday. They are hoping to explode on the world stage with some strong performances as a group as well as individually at the fifth and final Ushai World Cup event. But one man who is taking it all in stride is the leader of the bunch in Jasein Philip, who can't wait to see how they perform. He is the experienced one in the bunch, but two-time Olympian Jasein Philip is just embracing the chance to be a part of what many see as something special in local cycling. Philip leads a four-member sprint team to Belarus this weekend, where he's hoping they can surprise a few persons and open a few eyes, as they have been working really hard here at home. Uh, preparation for the Belarus World Cup has been going very, very well. Um, Sayer and Hartwell has been pushing us hard. I mean, today is Saturday, and you know what I mean, we're drilling it. So, I mean, just shopping up now and just preparing before we take off next Friday. Well, the goal for this team is definitely, you know, qualifying for Tokyo 2020. I mean, we have some short... Uh, goals in between, which will be Commonwealth, uh, Pan Am Games and CAC Championships, which is next year as well. Um, it's something that we've been working hard for for years and, you know, just to see it coming through now, it's, it's, it's just a dream come true. Having all the youngsters here and just staff and management is just going good. But what pleases just saying the most is the chance to revive people's interest in the sport of cycling so they can return to the sport like in the days of Roger Gibbon, Gene Samuel, Ian Attlee and Maxwell Cheeseman really proud and humbling at the same time because I mean it's a dream that I had ever since I was a kid and I mean just to see these things actually happening you know what I mean um, it's good and I just want to continue you know being a great ambassador for cycling and being an ambassador for my sport and just pushing it and getting it out there for the public you know to come in and just get a better insight on what cycling is. But he's also thrilled to be able to train and develop right here at home in familiar surroundings rather than having to travel abroad to do the same work. Oh, well, it's definitely, it's great now, you know, because, I mean, with the guys now, we push each other day in, day out. Some of the guys are faster, some of the guys are slower. So, I mean, just getting that in every day, you know, you you just have that push, you know what I mean? So, I mean, if I'm having a bad day, someone else is having a good day. So, we're always pushing each other and just getting the best out of one another. So, it's just helping us and building for our goal, which will be 2020. And the Separia Bullet is well aware of the level they are going to face at the World Cup, but he's keeping it all in perspective as they head off to Europe. Well, we're testing the waters. I mean, it's been 14 weeks since we've been together, so we just want to go out and display. Um, it's been looking really, really good this this past couple of weeks. So, I mean, we just definitely want to go out and execute it. With Phillips as their leader, the young guns in Nicholas Paul, Quasi Brown and Karen Bramble can also look to the experience and know-how of Erin Hartwell to put them in good positions to excel on this trip and others down the road.